Have a lot of you. You too, what up? Right now we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the Brooklyn Nets, man. And um, at first I went ain't gonna react to the highlights, but I said fuck it, why not? It's just a couple of takes I wanna go ahead and get out of my chest real quick. And uh, you know, y'all know that Kyrie my favorite player. You know what I'm saying? And once he retires and once he starts getting on a decline, you know, Jai's gonna be my guy for sure, for sure. Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, you know, the young guys. You know, I, I ain't finna just have one player anymore. It's kind of like a multiple thing. It may be players I like more than the other, but as far as I just respect the game, that's really all it is, man. You know, as I, you know, as a young, you got your favorite. You got your people that you look up to. Like my childhood hero was Kobe Bryant. You feel me? And then I start fucking with KD, then Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, as I'm just, I'm, as I'm grown, you know, I just respect the game, period. I, I got the people that I like, and I think it's underrated, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, all my life, you know, I've been wanting Kyrie to make that next step because I feel like he's very underrated, and, you know, and, of course, he's misunderstood. And uh, his underrated has a lot to do with politics and uh, how he carried himself, uh, you know, during the, the several years, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But I've been wanting them to have like an all NBA type season, but I don't think that's ever probably gonna happen, bro. You know, even though I want it, I want it for him. I want him to win the MVP. I want him to get his own ring, I want him to be his finals MVP, but I'm probably just gonna have to accept the fact that it's probably never gonna happen. Even though I want it to happen so bad. You know, so I just want him to, to go off and go crazy. But yeah, he's been having a slow start to the season so far. And we only like three games in, you know what I'm saying? So but, you know, off the rip, you know, Luka been going crazy. Like, he had 49 to, to you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's go ahead and start this shit. Let me go ahead and do this shit because it'll be a long video. But, uh... And Cam Tom is like, like, I'm glad. See, look, I'm, see? This guy right here. He's a dog, and I've been knowing this since since high school. You know, since we was at Oak Hill, bro. I've been keeping tabs on him, and I'm glad that the, that the coach is finally starting. Like, okay, I gotta start this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, you know what I'm saying? He's a dog, bro. And a lot of people, been, you know, and you know, uh, you know, everybody trying to say that Cam Thomas don't play a lick of defense or whatever. Luka Don, Luka Doncic, he don't either. Trey Young don't either. Shade don't either. I mean, it's plenty of superstar, all-star type players that don't play that much. Don't, that don't play that much defense. Like I need y'all to stop fucking trying to make, you know, stated trying to make uh not excuses or just just being haters, bro. Like God damn, like. <laughs> but that nigga's a bucket, bro. He ain't scared. He's he, he's fearless. Obviously, he has a good work ethic because. A lot of folks, you know, last year when he was dropping the 40 balls, I think he had like three straight games of putting up 40. A lot of guys, you know, being your, having your minutes reduced, they would have gave up. They would like, fuck this shit, fuck NBA. But he kept going. He's like, fuck, I'm going to get in the lab, go hard in the summer. And look, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could argue that Cam Thomas should have been on the Team USA team. Since they didn't want to put their best guys out there, Cam Thomas could have been one of them young guys who got that experience. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God! <laughs> but Mikael Bridge, he got a little funky jump shot, but he's definitely a hooper, though. For sure. How y'all feel about Ben Simmons' uh, game so far? I like how more aggressive he is, but bro, his game is so hideous, though. Without the flashy. The flashy uh passes and the flashy uh transition dunks and shit like that. His half court game is so trash. Like he like he try to do these like these weak ass like hook like sky hook floaters, bro. That shit be so garbage. You know what I'm saying? So Ben Simmons, I don't think he's ever gonna be an all star again. I mean, I'm gonna have to keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all, bro. Like his offensive game is just so terrible. Like I ain't gonna cap. Was an awesome interview with Skin and Kathy Drysdale, and here is Lively slamming it home, back-to-back -back baskets. And I still think Dallas don't have enough, man. Like, like the uh, the Western Conference is so fucking deep, bro. Like, best case scenario, I think the the Mavs probably be like a top 
it's gonna be either the Suns or Nuggets number one. The Lakers, that's, that's three teams right there. You got the Pelicans if uh, Zion stays healthy. And then the Mavs, not the Warriors. Then the Mavs. I mean, there's so many teams. The Kings, OKC. I mean, where does the Mavs fit through all that? I mean, they definitely got better with their defense, but they still got niggas like Noah Powell getting all these damn minutes and shit. And one. Kratos, get over here and sit down. Kratos, get over here. Sit down. Sit down. Ben Simmons, by the way, is all up on Luca. Clock winding. Three pointer rattles in. Ben Simmons did everything possible. No, he did. He didn't do everything possible. That was some weak D. To what they've got tonight, starting Cam Thomas, Vinny Smith starting. They've gone small tonight. Kyrie, seven points. Hey, he pulling that bitch. Target on the three. Jones keeps it alive. Jones did not start any of the 64 games he played last year with Chicago. He started the first two this year with Dallas. And Valon Thomas means it's too early in the quarter on Brooklyn. Did Dallas keep on the pressure in that regard? Kyrie Good shot, boy. I love, man. Kyrie plays such a beautiful game, man. But like I said, man, I, don't, I just don't know. I can't put my thumb on it, man. It's like he'll drop 50, and then the next game he'll drop fucking 17 or something. He'll he'll drop 30 on 50% shooting in the next game. He'll have like 12 You know, I just man, I I just want I just want him to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just one season just go crazy for me You know, that's how I be feeling but he might just turn it up man Like I said, we only three or four games in the season. You know what I mean? So I don't want to just you know Cause here, you know, all the all the players that play in the NBA know that Kyrie is a dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just Kyrie is he's never gonna have when by the time he retires, he's not gonna have the accolades that I would want him to have. Even for himself. He can you know, but he, like I said, it's politics too though. Ooh, get up there, Cam. Slams it. Nine minutes of this game. But with a stop and a score, they can regain the advantage. That's a good cut. They don't get the stop, though. Lonnie Walker. Make sure that shit's still record. Now shooting against the zone. Walker for three. Including the last five. Now Luca working against Vinny Smith. To the baseline to score. Shit too easy. Moments of good defense against Luka, and he still scored against him. Now Bridges for three, and the teams have gone into basket trading mode. He can't stop him. There's nobody else that can. Thomas that nigga three. is a bucket, bro. I swear to God. Has a little Kyrie in him. Nice pass. Yeah, down the lane. Powell lays it in from Kyrie. But also, Kyrie is playing winning basketball. You know what I'm saying? Crossover. Good pass. That nigga, that nigga look like Terrence Ross. Uh, Terrence Ross at the. I ain't seen that one. When the fuck Ben Simmons gonna score? Good shot, boy. Three by Hardaway, six by Kyrie, eight by Powell. And Powell, who did not make a three all of last year, just hit one. That's crazy. So you telling me you ain't hit a three all goddamn season? Yo, sorry ass. I don't say they need to trade this. They need to trade that nigga, man. We got niggas like and he he was starting last year. He was starting. I, I'm not a fan of Noah Powell, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, he 
Thought my camera shut off. That should be he, do, he be moving at his own pace, man. He's he's a he's a he's a, a Nikola Jokic guard. Good size stuff. It's a great shot. Simmons in to play defense. Ball into Kleba. Dallas has got to get on with it. Shot clock at five seconds. Flip it over to Luca. Stare down three. He's hot. He's hot. That's an efficient 43 too. Yes, it is. 14 out of 23 for the floor. Looking for his eighth three. He got it. He got it. And the Mavericks lead it. Hand off back to Luca. Late in the shot clock. Four seconds. Got it from Kleba. Again, late in the clock. In desperation. He it Luca Magic, baby, going crazy. Going crazy. He's done some amazing things. That particular shot under the circumstances. And by the way, that's a big first free throw because. Yeah, game's over. But shout out to Luca, man. Shout out to the Mavs for getting the dub, man. That's all that matter. But what do y'all think uh, the Mavs seeding is going to be by the end of the season or the halfway point? What moves do y'all think they should do? Who should get traded? Who should they sign? Because they still missing some pieces, man, to be able to compete throughout the West. You know, because the West is stacked. But I'm going to fuck with y'all on the next one, man. Y'all have a good one, man. Shit. Yeah, I'm out of here.